home. So today I'm back with this makeup look which I call it I woke up like this. So if you're ready to do this makeup, let's get started. So to make our skin look healthy, we need to prep our skin very very well. I'm gonna start from using this toner to clean my face first. Then I'm gonna apply serum all over my face. So I'm using about two spots. Then I'll finish the skincare step with this one. Before start doing makeup, I'm gonna use this lip balm first. For the makeup, I'm gonna start from using the concealer with the shade that matches my skin tone. Apply it where I have redness and dark circles. Except for the under eye areas cause I'm gonna use the lighter shade for that. Then I'll be blending the concealer with this concealer brush from Sigma. I'll be using this Instant Edge Revive from Maybelline to brighten up my face. So applying under my eyes. Also on my point of my face, like T zone. And blending it with the same concealer brush. Also go over my eyelids a little bit. Then I'm taking a smudge to make sure that everything looks seamless. Then I'll be contouring my face with this bronzer stick from Kylie Cosmetics. To make the makeup looks natural, you mainly use the cream product. So I applied only on my cheekbone and under my chin and a little bit on the side of my nose then I'm going back to the sponge again For the blush, I'm gonna use this cream blush from Can Make. The color looks like this. You know, this color looks very scary, but for natural makeup look, I feel like using the red color and apply just a little bit gives me more of a natural vibe than using like a baby pink color. You know, cause natural chic color is not baby pink or purple pink, it's red. For natural makeup, I recommend to apply a brush on upper cheek, not on, you know, cheekbones area like I normally apply. When the cheeks get red, they get red around here, not like here how we apply to lift our face. Also bring it across my nose a little bit. Just this, cause I don't want my blush to be like blush. Then I'm gonna add some gold to my face And I'm applying on my cheekbones This one just has a slightly shimmer in it So it's not too strong for a natural look Also a little bit on my nose At the middle of my forehead On my chin Cube is full. And with the product that is left on my finger, I'm gonna apply on the front area of my cheeks. Just a little bit because you don't want your face to look oily rather than dewy. For those who have a dry skin to normal skin, you don't need to apply a powder. But for me personally, I have a very oily skin so I'm gonna apply a powder a little bit just to control my oiliness. I'm gonna use this translucent powder from Fenty Beauty. For the brows, I'm gonna set my brows with this clear brow gel first. 
Setting the brows with the gel before going in with the pencil product makes me know where I need more of a fake brow hair. Then I'll be using this brow pen from Fazio. I'm not gonna draw like a line or create a box on the brows, but I'm gonna draw like a hair. I think I need more hair at the end, so... Just follow the direction of natural brow hair. Just about this much. Do you see the difference? Like this one, it looks natural, but just a little bit fuller. For the eyes, I'm gonna use the bronzer stick that I used to control my face. to keep some depth to the eyes. Then I'll be taking this highlighter with a small pencil brush and applying at the center of my lids. Also on my inner corner so I look more awake. If you don't want to add an eyeliner, you can skip this step, but for me, I live for an eyeliner, so I'm gonna add some. I'll be using this pencil eyeliner from NYX. I'm trying to apply the eyeliner as close to the lash line as possible. Then create a wing, just a very, very, very sharp wing. Follow my natural eye shape, just about this much. Then curling my lashes. Then I'll be using this mascara from Kate. I think there is another version of this which is a volume if I remember correctly. But I chose to use long because I feel like this one gives me more of a natural look. So the last step is the lips. I'm gonna wipe off the lip balm that I applied the beginning first. Then I'll be using this lip glam from For You Too. So this is the finished look for today. This look is very easy, natural and lightweight. So on some day that you don't feel like putting too much makeup or you just need to run out of your house so fast, I think this is the best look for that day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming video. And thank you so much for being here today. See you guys in my next video.